day. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. from State Farm Stadium. And this will make it into the end zone. They had no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Out now comes Russell Wilson in season number nine, six-time Pro Bowler, as he gets set to lead this Seahawks offense. Whenever you think about the Seattle Seahawks, one of the first things that pops to mind is how well they run the football and how much they like doing it. But you have to also look at how well Russell Wilson has played at the quarterback spot. Hasn't just been a game manager. Last year, over 4,100 yards passing, the second most in his career. 31 touchdown passes and took care of the ball as well because he threw just five interceptions. If you need to open things up, Russell Wilson can get it done. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll have a first down past the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson, and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, no slow start here. A couple of nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. He's got the first down here inside the 30, and he takes it all the way down to the 22. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. First down, it's Carson, and he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Brought down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. 
Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Draw play, this is Carson. And that didn't fool anybody. He's gonna be dropped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes the defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play action passes as well. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see them take a shot downfield. comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. Seahawks 3, Cardinals nothing. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Jason Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. On the return, Andy Isabella. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Cardinals take over first and The Cardinals coming out led by Kyler Murray, the offensive rookie of the year a season ago, and back for more here in year number two. I still remember being in Indianapolis at the Combine when the result of Kyler Murray's height was announced. And when the tape measure showed him at a little bit above 5'10", all doubts went out the window, and rightly so. The Cardinals went 5, 10, and 1 with him last year, but he was the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. This guy can make great plays with his arm, can scoot with his feet, and has motivated this team and has him on a really good upward trajectory. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Kenyon Drake last year versus Cleveland, absolutely unstoppable. Ran for 137 yards. Remember, four touchdowns in the Cards' 38-24 win in Week 15. of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Now Murray. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. By Jaron Reed. Busting through to get him for a loss of six. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. <laughs> Out of the gun, here's Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Murray. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Murray with a third and long. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. That's all! That's all! 
a six yard the start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline yeah how about that you get your points on the opening drive then you get a big sack there on third down and you make the home crowd go there is a hush indeed On fourth down, here's Andy Lee on to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and ten. The Seattle Seahawks 5-0 for the first time in franchise history. A Sunday night, week five, what a game as they rally back to defeat Minnesota 27-26. And Russell Wilson did it again, as Al Michael said on the broadcast, astonishing. He leads the Seahawks 94 yards in the final two minutes. So it was a touchdown pass to DK Metcalf on fourth and goal with 15 seconds to play. And he also completed a big fourth and 10 earlier in that game winning drive. So Charles Russell Wilson being Russell Wilson. Yeah, it's very similar. What's that great poem about postal workers? Neither rain nor snow nor sleep. <laughs> I mean, that's Russell Wilson. It does not matter, does it? And every time we talk about the best quarterbacks in the game, other names tend to come up and then we go, oh yeah, what about Russell Wilson? He might very well be the best. So that's what he's going off of right now. He's absolutely on a mission to get his team back to a Super Bowl. And in doing so, putting his name up there with the best in the game. Three touchdown passes in this one, 19 through five for him. Russ is cooking. And we're going to hear MVP talk all season long, and he's earned it. They get an open week now, and then they got a couple division games coming up. A really tough one at home against Arizona and Kyler Murray. And then they're at San Francisco for another tough one against that 49ers defense that's usually on its game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And now he'll tuck it and run. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Seahawks three, Cardinals nothing. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. From the shotgun, Wilson. And that is incomplete here. Chris Carson, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield. They had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. So on is Jason Myers. He's hit from as long as 58 in his career. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. Ball going back 
back to the Arizona Cardinals, who got back into the win column in Week 5 after a 2-0 start. They had losses to Detroit and Carolina, but their visit to the Jets may be the definition of a get-right game. They went 30-10 to to move to 3-2 and on the year. And the Cards rolling up almost 500 yards of offense, paced by a career-high 380 yards, Charles, through the air by Kyler Murray, who had a touchdown pass and another one on the ground. Yeah, and you're right about that. It is a get-right game against the Jets right now, and everyone trying to find a way to get them on their schedule. But this was a top, you know, let's face it, Arizona's in a really top-heavy division because the NFC West, the front runners are Seattle. They're now 5-0. and The Rams are 4-1, and which I think for a lot of us is a little bit of a surprise. But remember, they were in the Super Bowl just a couple of seasons ago. But now they have all four games with those teams remaining. So that means their schedule's out in front of them. If they keep going, now, the problem is they just lost Chandler Jones, their star defensive end outside linebacker, their great pass rusher. Looks like he's out. Oh, Edmonds has it knocked loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. Murray's pass complete. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Dancing to his left. He'll try and run it. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up, running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield, and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The football going back over to Arizona now. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing? Not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? On first and 10, here's Murray. He'll get this underneath Edmonds. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. It's a pick Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hopkins. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Mark, 
Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Chase Edmonds. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3-0 our score. 48-yard line. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime need to get the, Need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Larry Fitzgerald. The last few seasons has almost been sport for us in the media to see if Larry Fitzgerald was going to call it quits and cap off what I believe is a Hall of Fame career. But now he's entered season number 17. Second on the all-time receptions list, just 171 catches behind Jerry Rice, and maybe he's found new life as he continues to pile up the big numbers. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's second down and 10. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Murray looks to throw again, second and 10. Open man is Kirk, complete. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Nice catch there by Christian Kirk. Had 709 yards and three touchdowns in the 2019 season. I expect those numbers to continue to climb. This is a guy who can play in the slot, play outside, but the number one thing about him, absolute explosiveness, especially after he catches the ball downfield. If you don't make the tackle right there, he's going to take it a long way. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Shotgun now from Murray. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. From the gun, Murray. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. Opted to run for it, the decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray, because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm. and. Nowadays, we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws. 
but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. That's going to be caught by Kirk for a Cardinals touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Cardinals have taken the lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive spans 13 plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. now with a return and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line the Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 26 yard out comes Chris Carson in the Seattle offense he's been good they've utilized him well but they're losing here in the second quarter what might they change offensively I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here? Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. From the gun, Wilson. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Incomplete. It's third down and two yards to go. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Operating from the gun, Wilson. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is one of the dangers of going for the punt block. And you know before you even call going for the block, it's a risk-reward play. So many factors come into it. They went after it, and you know punters, what they do? They leave their leg up in near an extra count or two, hoping someone comes into contact. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. Final play of the half. It's Wilson stepping up. He'll try and run. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. 
and welcome in everyone to this slimmed down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the former number one overall pick, Kyler Murray. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. On the return, Isabella. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. On the return, the Cardinals take over first and 10. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. A Kenyon Drake in week 16 last year against the Seahawks. Had a career day, 166 yards rushing, a couple of touchdowns as well, as the Cardinals won in Seattle 27-13. From the 29, Murray stepping up. He's going to keep it. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Six brings up third and one. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. Murray a give, this is Drake. And he's gonna have the first down at about the 38. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've gotta feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Bobby Wagner, the NFL's leading tackler in 2019, there on the stop. Well, I was switching gears for a second. Uh, look, Charles, we know it's part of the game, but injuries, again, a big story in week five. Most notably, of course, Dak Prescott, pretty severe ankle injury that's going to keep him out the remainder of the season. And that's really just the latest in what has been a tough, tough year already. Gosh, you could probably build an all-pro team, Charles, with some of the guys who have gone down. Yeah, an all-pro team, and at worst, a pro bowl team because you're talking about names like Saquon Barkley with the New York Giants, Cortland Sutton with Denver, Marlon Mack, Indianapolis, Nick Bosa, San Francisco, all of them. Injuries that have them lost for the year. Michael Thomas got hurt in the season opener with New Orleans. We haven't seen him since. Nick Chubb with Cleveland on, on IR. Christian McCaffrey with Carolina. They've all missed significant time, so it's been a tough year for injuries. Some teams are playing around them better than others, and we'll see how it goes the rest of the year, but we wish all these guys who are hurt a speedy recovery. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter, but that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, 
They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Another cardinal. Remember we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this where both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. First down, Drake. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Kenyon Drake on the carry. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Shedding the tackle. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. He's at the 50. 30. 20. 10. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding. Defense. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still have the option, but let's face it. There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. On the return, Isabella. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it to 26. The Cardinals take over first and 10. And Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Second and four. Operating from the gun. Murray, Fitzgerald on the slam. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Murray now on first down. And this one caught by Max Williams. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A 
Gain of 23 yards on the play. That's another. That was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. From the gun, Murray. Now he'll pull it down. And some room to work. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here at a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Operating from the gun, Murray. This will be caught at about the six. Murray's pass. Not much there, only a yard. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now Drake. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cardinals have retaken the lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Gonzalez now to have the extra point. Makes it 14-10. So that drive spanned five plays. And the exclamation mark at the end was Kenyon Drake's touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Block it, the return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 26. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 26. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of seven yards. 
Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Push him foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. You want to rough it. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. From the gun, Wilson escaping the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. First down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Wilson. Out to the right, he gets it to Lockett. Oh, now he's stripped. He lost the football. To Tyler Lockett. A fumble on the play. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. On second down. It's Carson, and this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back to back, they've been tackled behind the line. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. From the gun, Wilson rolling to his right. He can run for and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks have once again taken the lead. Well, there's a sight that fans were used to seeing a little bit more earlier in his career. Just three rushing touchdowns last year for Russell Wilson. He's had as many as six in a season. I think he's a lot more selective, a little more judicious about running the football now, but still scares the heck out of any defense when he decides to tuck it and go. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. A drive that time of six plays, and it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run.
after the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 20. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 24. He'll set up to throw from the gun. And now he'll tuck it and run. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Three receivers head out right, one to the left on second and three. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it out to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Throwing on first down is Murray. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. And it's second down. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again, Murray. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brings up with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Murray going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Drake. Now Drake loses the football, and the Seahawks have recovered. Defense. Oh, man, can't do that. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now right out of the two minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. He's got Lockett. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Hey. 
And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they take a knee. Second down now. It's Carson. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So the victory here for Seattle, and I tell you, these division games never for the faint of heart, but they come through with a tight victory here on the road. And you find yourself working harder in a game like this too, don't you? Yeah, because you got to stay sweat. with it, right? You got to stay with it. You got to stay locked in. It's our type of a game. And you just mentioned it. Division game, on the road, tight, and they find a way to win it. Way to hunker down, as my old coach used to say, and find your way through. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.